Hey, hey, you guys, Stockton here from Better Than Data. And in this video, I wanna show you how to properly set up your GA4 tags in your web container to send data to your server container and have that send the data onto Google Analytics. The reason we would do this is because we want to interact with all of the data on our website in first party meaning data will go from our website to our custom tracking domain first, where there's that first party interaction, and then go on to Google Analytics. Benefits of this is obviously the data control. So we can clean, we can, re we can change, modify, remove, add data using our server side GTM, as well as because it's in first party context, be a bit more resilient to things like ITP and ad blockers and things like that. So let's jump in and show you how to set up the GA4 web tags to send data to our server side container. If you like this type of video and you are on your own measurement journey where you're setting this type of stuff up for yourself, your own business, or your clients businesses, then head on over to betterthandata.com forward slash quiz, where we will help you identify where you are in your journey and give you a personalized action plan of what to do from there, where to go from there, and how to maximize results for yourself or your clients. So head on over to betterthandata forward slash quiz. For now, let's jump into our web GTM here, uh, our GTM container. So we've got our server container right here on the left. We've got our web GTM container right here on the right. So what we need to do is set up our GA4 tags. So we'll go new, tag configuration, and choose the GA4 config. It's gonna ask for our measurement ID so we can grab that from Google Analytics. Let's go to admin, data streams, click into it and grab our measurement ID. So we'll go in and paste this there. Then it's gonna say send to server container. So instead of having this tag interact with googleanalytics.com directly, we want it to interact with our server container. So let's go to our server container. Under admin, we can grab the custom URL that we have assigned to this server container. So we'll go container settings, grab this, head back to web, Tick the box, paste in the URL, that simple. We'll go to trigger under all pages. We'll assign that as the trigger for this. Then we'll create our name here, GA4 config plus page view. And then we will hit save. So we have our basic just configuration tag and page view ready. Now we need to tell server side GTM to get ready to accept this data. Under your clients tab for your default built-in GA4, make sure that you have the default GA4 paths box ticked. And then we are also going to turn this on and add in our measurement ID here as well. So let's paste that in and hit save. Okay, now we need to define a trigger so that when the GA4 client claims the request, make that available to send uh, data using a tag whenever the client claims a request, make it a trigger. So we need to go to trigger, we'll go new, trigger configuration, custom, some events where the client name equals GA4. And this has to match exactly what the client name is. So let's give it a name of client GA4, just like that. So capital GA4, and that matches what the client name is right here for our GA4. Under tags, we can now tell it to send data to Google Analytics 4, and we paste in the measurement ID again right here. The trigger is the new one we just created for our client GA4, and then we can give this a name, just, I'll just call it GA4. Now here's the fun trick part, uh, something you can do is actually in the web container, give it just some bogus measurement ID. So we'll just say one, two, three here and hit save. And that way, when the web container is sending data to your server container, the incoming request will look like it's for measurement ID G123. But in the server container, we're explicitly telling it what the measurement ID is. So it doesn't matter what the incoming measurement ID is, because here we're telling it to use this measurement ID and not the incoming one. If I left this blank, it would use the incoming measurement ID 
which would be wrong in this case. Now this happened a lot with universal analytics actually, where people would scrape your website, they would find your tracking code ID, and then they would spam your account using measurement protocol. This would be one way of preventing that or mitigating against that with servers IGTM. So it's not necessary, but just a fun uh, pro tip. So we'll hit save and let's begin to preview all of this stuff. So we'll go preview here in our server container, and then let's preview our web container as well. Connect to the website. And under our analytics, let's actually go to the debug view so we can see what is happening real time. Okay. So here under our container loaded page view event, we have our config sending data to our server URL with this G123 measurement ID. If we look under our server preview and debug, we can see that the event came in was claimed by the GA4 client, and there was an outbound request to googleanalytics.com. That is responsible because, that is there because of this GA4 tag, it's responsible for sending that data. And if we look here, it's using the proper measurement ID, and it actually has a 204, which is a good uh, status code, meaning that it actually worked. So we've got our page view, and if we look under analytics debug view, we also see the page view right there. Now, all future tags that we would set up inside of our web container for events would all use that same config plus page view tag to send the data to our server container. It would be sending it with the wrong measurement ID, but that's okay because in the server container, we're overriding that and we're making sure that it's always going to use the correct measurement ID. And there we are. That is how we would set up all of our web tags to send data to our server container and then the server container onto Google Analytics 4.